Alright, so what's up everybody? Welcome back. Again, uh, pretty short intervals on video this time because I had a package come in the mail today, but uh, it's kind of cold outside, so I'm going to try and stay inside as much as possible for this project. And so what I'm doing today on Reba is I've got this whole piece. This whole piece came in. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and snatch these bulbs out of here. And then go ahead and take these torque screws out of this thing and get it inside so I don't have to stay out here in the cold. And then I'll show you guys the reason why I got a new one of these. Okay, so this is the old piece here. I'm going to show you guys the differences real quick. So as you can see on this, you can see this whole housing here. This is where your bulb pops into place. You can see the housing on both of those. Look at the housing on this. I mean, this is just broke, slapped to pieces, and so that's why on the interior you haven't seen these covers on my truck is because this is broken, and uh, whoever took the lenses out actually broke one of these off, and they managed to break the actual covers itself. So this is the old one, and... I don't have to swap over anything over to this other than my blue bulbs, which I'm probably getting rid of soon. I love my blue bulbs, and it it uh, really makes the interior of the truck unique. Uh, I'm probably going to leave the dash lights blue, but uh, I think I'm just going to put white lights up top and just leave the dash lights blue. And so, yeah, that's what I'm doing today. I'm just going to go ahead and then pop these blue LED bulbs in here put these lens covers back on because I actually had to take those off and the old bulbs. So I'm just going to get ready to put this thing back together and then pop it back in the truck. Back in the truck. Got everything. Got my lights put in and everything. They actually mounted in straight in these because the mounts aren't half-ass broken already. The only thing that did happen on the way over here and it's not that guy's the guy's fault that I bought this from is this got broke because he sent me multiple pictures of the thing and it was not broke whenever he shipped it and so all that all that does though is hold that wire right there which I don't think is gonna be too big of a problem I think I'm gonna be able to plug it up and fit it in there without that being a problem because it's got a lot of extra room right here and this is where that sits so yeah, it looks like I'm pissing to uh, get everything plugged up, mounted up in here, and then I got to pop these lenses on, which I got a bad feeling. It's probably going to be a pain, especially with me having to work above my head here because you can't put the lenses in first because you got to put in these Torx heads. And these lenses are real bad about breaking. Not only that, but this is used. This isn't new. So it does have a 30-day warranty on it, though, so if something breaks... I can send it back in and get some new ones. These are the two plugs here that I gotta plug up. Uh, one plugs into this modem here, right there. And then the other one just plugs up to the other white plug. And then I gotta tighten it up, put the lenses on. So I'll show you guys uh, how it works as I go. Pop these front clips in first and then tighten up everything after you plug these in. So. Yeah, I'll show you guys what it looks like whenever I get ready to pop the lenses in. Alright, so right back at it. Uh, just got the Torx screws tightened there. And uh, this thing's already looking a whole lot better, especially to me because I'm so used to riding with these things. Like, or Well, this one I think is at, was actually okay. This one over here was like cocked sideways and stuff where the mounts were broken and you couldn't seal it in there good and stuff, so... Uh, this thing's already looking better. You can call this a restoration mod, I guess. A restoration mod towards getting Reba back to the way you know, she was whenever she came out the factory. So That's what I'm doing is some of these OEM things. I'm trying to get those fixed now. Uh, I would have just ordered new lens covers and tried to make it work. Because that would have hid you know, all that broken up nastiness that was under there but uh somebody broke one of the little tits off so now i get to try and mount these lenses in there and uh
let you guys know how that goes. Well, it definitely looks so much better. Lenses are not hard to put in up here. They were really hard to get out sitting on the table inside. Uh, I think that's mainly because this thing wasn't like solid mounted to anything. It was just kind of, you know, free floating around. So it's kind of hard to get a good angle where you can apply some pressure to this plastic and get it mounted in there. But uh, everything works awesome. Let's see, I can show you guys real quick. Whenever I flip the light switch inside the truck up, they come on. They look so purple on here. Uh, they're actually blue though and so now everything works like it's supposed to I don't have to just manually operate it with this switch over here anymore and so now whenever I'm riding down the road and I need to find something that's in my floorboard that I may have dropped I don't have to turn on all these lights all I have to do is reach up here and hit this button and there it is and so everything works good. Uh, I'm fixing to go grab the keys and make sure this part works good, but uh, I'm pretty sure this part I don't have a problem with. Um, here's an, and also a look at the window tint on the inside. There's one more thing I have to mention before I close this video off. Tailgate bar is gone, unfortunately. I don't even know if you guys can see that because of the lighting, but tailgate bars right here. I think it's been almost it's been almost two and a half years, I believe. So it was only sixty bucks, and honestly, the tailgate bar has done an amazing job. It really it performed really well for as long as it lasted, but the wiring on it 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 eventually is just shot. Can't do anything with it tried to because some of the wiring would come loose or like come loose at the four pin and i'd have to try and reattach it or just buy a new four pin to try and put in it and uh, the wiring is just so small in these wires it's plenty big to push the amperage and the volts through it to run the light bar but if you ever have to rewire it it's it's just a pain in the ass so just gonna put the rest of the tools back up and that kind of concludes it for this video I've I've got white lights on the way for the inside to replace those blues even though I am happy with the blues working right now I'm very happy with that uh, and there's gonna be something go here I can't just leave this blank I've had it filled for too long and so the, the tailgate bar situation will be figured out I've got uh, it's a fairly new item coming in and I'm sorry if you guys have a lot of wind noise in this by the way I didn't even think about that and uh, I hope you guys enjoy it too it doesn't make me use any screws or anything just like this one didn't this one this one had screws and it recommended that you use the screws uh, it was self tappers and stuff but I don't like drilling holes in my truck so that's not being done and some of you guys may have noticed this, but uh, if you look in some of the past videos, there was a dent here, a huge dent, and uh, me and me and Yoda patched that up. My color match paint just came in the mail as well, and we're also going to fix this. Tailgate's finally going to get fixed. Color match paint, and we've got clear coat left over from an old project that we had. And so, yeah, I'm just going to stack these tools back up. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry if I made this video a little long for what we've done because there was not a whole lot to do in this video. But, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for tuning back in. Leave a like if you did like this video. And if you did like this video, be sure to subscribe for more content like it. And we will see you guys in the next one.